Hello everyone, welcome to the 38th tutorial to a beginner's guide on how to Revit. Continuing where we left off last video, let's do an overview for an IES file for Revit and how to apply it. But first, what's an IES? It's a text file that describes the intensity of a light source that points out on a spherical grid. It provides more photorealistic lighting effects in rendered images than other types of light distribution. With that in mind, let's get started. Using the same model from the previous video, let's go straight ahead to the topic at hand. Notice these yellow low poly bubbles. These are the IES light source and its beam angle. If we go to edit type here, in the last video, we already encountered the initial, initial intensity, initial color. Now we will do the photometric web file, which is this one. And here's the IES. If I click this, it will lead us to a variety of IES files that Revit has to offer. So if I were to change this like so and press apply, notice how everything changes. Now, if I were to render this, let's see what's going to look like in a couple of seconds. There, it became wider and much more concentrated but the concentration came from the lumen so let's kind of focus on the attenuation itself or its wide beam range now let's try to edit one of these models right here click your light source and let's start with the light source definition but since you've got an IES for example there's no need to play around with this but let's tackle it just in case Let's start from the emit from shape. Here, for the point, we usually use this for wide beams using, sorry, narrow beams using up light and down light. We got this for LED. We got this for recessed lanterns for office buildings or industrial buildings. And this for some wide beams using spotlights and projectors. Now, for light distribution, Usually, I find the photometric web used for everything. But again, with an IES, there's no need. So let's tackle these two first, which is usually used for decorative lights. And here, like the one above, it is used for up light, down light, projectors, or spotlights. So let's go ahead and cancel this. Next, we go to family types. Now, here in family type, this should have the same option that we had in the model itself along with the initial color, initial intensity, and photometric web. Of course, this will still differ from the parameter that you've used. So let's go ahead and click here and choose anything like we did earlier, like this one in example. So if I were to open this and click apply, this will change the family itself and of course, if I were to load it, even without saving it back into the model and overwriting it, it will change the light source of the model I've used. And if we were to render this, let's just use medium. That should be good enough. There we go. Now, notice how this new IS we loaded hits the riser of the stair itself along with the railing and the wall. Now, before we end this video, let's take a look at one more lighting and check its IES and give it a render. Let's hide this along with the tree. This one as well. Now, take a look at this one. If I highlight it, you will notice that it's hitting the ground. Now, let's give it a render. Okay, take a look. At the grassy ground itself, it's showing a little bit of lighting that's coming out from the source. Also, notice the light source material is a little bit different in color. Now, this part is not actually an IES, but an illumination from the material itself. If I were to click this, I think it's probably this one, the light source, and change the material illumination here and change this to dim glow. I'm pretty sure that there will, no longer, there will no longer be a glow from the material itself once we render it.
there. Notice the difference between this one and the previous render. But if you look at the ground over here, you will notice that there's still some little bit of light emitting from the source itself. And that's it for this video. For questions and suggestions, please do comment below. And if you enjoyed or find this tutorial helpful, do support me by liking and subscribing. I will see you in the next one. Thank you very much, guys.